Hello my crafty friends and welcome. I'm here today to share a couple of little treat boxes that I made. I live in an adult community so I don't get trick-or-treaters but I thought I'd make some of these little treat boxes and fill them up with goodies for some of my friends when give them out when it gets closer to Halloween. They are just so much fun to make. If you don't know how to make the slider box or you haven't seen it, I've linked Karen Berniston's instruction video below so that you can go and check that out. I've also linked my blog which I have a lot more pictures and instructions there for you. But to make the boxes, I have I cut out the top of the box while it was still flat. I cut out my little ghost and then I, I put the little pumpkin down here. And then on the back, I put a simple piece of vellum and then I just made the little eyes with a fine tip pin. So you can see how that looks. They're pretty darn cute. Now, you may have noticed something a little different about these boxes, and that's the fun part. They light up, and they light up because I learned about these fun little lights when I was watching a video, a YouTube video, and they're called LED balloon lights. I ordered them from Amazon. It was $10 for this box, and there's 100 lights in it. They're just the cutest darn thing you ever saw. They, they're round. They look like an eyeball, actually which is kind of fun for Halloween. And they have this little tab. I hope you can see that. They have a little tab out here and all you have to do to light them up is pull that tab out. Now I'm told, but I haven't verified that for myself, that if you leave them on they'll burn for about three days, which I think is pretty darn good for Halloween season. But if you want to conserve the battery, you can put the little tab, they're plastic, so you can slide them back in there and the light will go back off. I mean, that's pretty darn nifty. Whoops, I don't didn't get that one very well. Let's try that again. Okay, so now it goes back off. And you can save it for another project or another time. Okay, stay tuned. I'm going to turn off the lights so you can see how these look in the dark. They're lots of fun. I hope you've enjoyed seeing them. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. So here they are with the lights off. You can see how spooky they are. They're really cute and fun. Give it a try. I think you'll enjoy it. Bye bye for now.